Hello everyone and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage. So in this video today, I've done a comparison towing video on my older generation Ford Ranger Wildtrak with the two litre bi-turbo engine and my brand new generation Ford Ranger Raptor with the three litre petrol V6. Now the reason I've done this is because I couldn't find a towing video at all for these two vehicles. And although the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, even with the two litre diesel bi-turbo apparently can tow more, I found something quite different and I'm going to share with you in this video. So let's start with my Ford Ranger Wildtrak. So we'll start things off with the tow ball height. So you can see here, this is the Ford Ranger Wildtrak. This is the tow ball height that's standard on this. I got this fitted when I bought this um, Ranger a few weeks ago, literally seven, eight weeks ago. And this is the tow ball height of the caravan. So it's slightly high, probably where the caravan is going to sit, but let's get that hitched up. So hitching up in the Ranger Wildtrak, let's go back. Get it done. So you've got pretty good visibility there of where you're going and you can see where the tow ball needs to go. Straight into there. That is hitched on now. Um, all sorted, so put the stabilizer down. And so the height of the caravan generally, it's pretty flat now, now it's on. Pickup sunken a little bit, so that looks good all round. Again, these on is a little bit more difficult than it used to be for me because I used to have a Discovery 5 and with that you had the um, air suspension that you could drop and lower. Now you have to really create just quite high to get on a pickup, but when it's on, it locks in pretty good. So happy with that. This is the position that the caravan sits in off the Ranger. So pretty flat, pretty neutral now, happy with that. Car sinks a little bit and bearing in mind the wild tracks, these cars have a tow weight of three and a half tonnes. Now this caravan here is 1,000, about 1,600 uh, kilograms, so about 1.6 tons when it's fully loaded. So way off the tow capacity of this, nearly half or more, less than half the tow capacity of my, uh, of the Ranger Wild Track. And so it, uh, it should be quite light. It should make quite light work of this. I'd expect this to be pretty easy. And when I bought my Ford Ranger, I wanted it to feel like it was pretty much got nothing on the back of it. It was going to tow very easily. Now this is the EcoBoost engine. So it's a two litre diesel EcoBoost engine, the bi-turbo. And this is the only engine that this model Ranger comes with. And so I was a bit skeptical when I bought this thinking, is this gonna be enough to tow them anything? Cause it's a two litre engine, had a two litre engine on my Discovery. And so let's go for a drive with the caravan on the back and I'll let you know my thoughts on what it's like towing. So here we are with the caravan in tow and we're just sat in a bit of traffic at the moment. But I'll tell you a little bit more about my history with this car. So I've owned it for seven weeks-ish bought it because I wanted a, a family car that also was going to tow and be able to lug about, do a lot of sport-based stuff, so it's going to be quite a, a lifestyle car really rather than a commercial one. And I know these cars are often bought commercially, this particular example wasn't uh, for me. So it has a 10-speed gearbox, a 2-litre EcoBoost engine, and I have found that it slightly struggles when you're pulling away towing and struggles to sort of handle even this weight, which is like I say is about 1.6 tonnes. I was hoping that this vehicle would really haul this um, caravan around without much effort at all. But the problem is, is I just feel it hasn't been able to do that as well as I hoped it would have been able to do. So for that reason, I'm taking a look at other vehicles in the same category, in the same class. When I compare it to my two litre Discovery, I had a Discovery 5 before this that I towed a lot with. Um, it feels quite similar. It feels the same sort of um, power and control that you get got with that. And that wasn't brilliant um, and it actually needed a new engine during its lifetime because well I don't know if this is the, the reason but I wonder whether because I towed quite a fair bit with it whether that put a lot of stress and strain through the engine and if that resulted in the, um, the vehicle not being able to cope from an engine capacity point of view and then as a result potentially um, broke so I really don't want that to happen again to this car and if it's something I've learned about um, these vehicles generally is it's important to have a strong enough engine particularly when you're towing to make it feel like you can safely move the weight around off the back but also um, something that feels like it's not over revving all the time when you're trying to tow so although these vehicles can tow well it says they can tow to three and a half tons as I mentioned this is less than half of that I do not know what it would be like if I was towing three tons or something like that behind this. I'd be really interested for those guys who are watching this that do use these commercially. What was your experience? Do you perhaps find it absolutely fine? Has it towed well? I don't know why Ford, I don't know why Ford discontinued the bigger engines um, for this model year. So this is the non-facelifting 
funny faces with Ford Ranger, so 2023 and before, and they don't do anything bigger than this. This was the two litre engine they did. And you can even hear now when I'm driving in traffic, just pulling away, you hear, it just revs quite a lot when it's just sort of handling it from lower speeds and kind of getting the, the weight moving. So, so yeah, it's been an interesting journey with this and it's not really been as good as I hoped it was gonna be for towing anything. Um, although it does it fine, I think if you've got one of these and you're just towing occasionally, I think you're absolutely fine. But if it's something you need to be able to do regularly, it's not been as strong as I hoped it would be. So there's a slight bit of a hill here, and if you listen to the engine. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels like it's putting a lot of strain through the engine unnecessarily. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I think overall, although like I say, this tow is okay, I was expecting probably more out of a commercial vehicle for kind of leisure towing. And I don't really feel like I've got that with this. So that's my summary. That's my verdict on the Ranger. Um, let's jump into the Ford Ranger Raptor. This is the new generation Ford Ranger Raptor. And this is my new car having sold the black wild track that I was in, which was a 2021 car. So interestingly, I'm towing with the Raptor now and it's only been a week since I sold my black Ranger and upgraded to this Ranger Raptor of the new generation um, vehicle. And I've done actually quite a few miles in this car since I got it. So towing wise, I've done far, about 400 miles towing with a caravan. So what's that, 1.6 tons-ish. And I can tell you quite a few interesting things about that. And the differences with the Ford Ranger Wildtrak, which I towed more than that in that. So I have a good idea about what that towed like. And then comparing it to this, I think overall I would say the new generation Ranger generally is a massive upgrade to the previous model. The previous model felt slightly updated now because it hadn't really changed a lot in it, particularly the interior. Um, and some of the, the headlights, the brake lights, everything was a little bit dated. This new car has a lot of new tech in it. The infotainment is absolutely brilliant in these cars. And uh, it just feels like a, a much bigger upgrade. So on to towing, how does this towing comparison? Well, this particular vehicle I've bought has the three litre twin turbo petrol engine, which puts out about 300 brake horsepower. And this tows really, really well. In comparison to my two litre bi-turbo, which you can still buy this car, the Ranger Raptor in, the two litre bi-turbo diesel engine, this is far better. Um, it's better, and most things, it's not so good at fuel consumption, which is something else I'll talk about with the Ranger Raptor generally. If you're towing with this, and I've had experience with it, without towing it, I'll start without towing, just driving around, you'll get about 21 miles per gallon if you're driving well, and uh, not giving it too much, and kind of being a bit more conservative with your driving. If you're driving it hard with no trailer on the back, I've been as low as 15 miles per gallon in this vehicle, so pretty bad. When you're towing with it, I would say, um, on average, I did about 18 miles per gallon when I was towing with the vehicle. So, not horrific to be honest, of a vehicle this size. I don't think 18 miles per gallon towing nearly a two ton load is too bad. I think it's quite similar to other vehicles um, in the same class, but it's still not great and probably something worth thinking about. I would say, however, though, it controls and pulls the caravan so much better than my two litre engine vehicle did. And it's kind of exactly what I wanted out of this vehicle when I first bought a pickup. If I put it, let's say, now we're on the main road, we're on a 30, I put my foot down, accelerate. This car accelerates to 60 like it is now, as quick as the Wildtrak did without a trailer at all. So you don't really feel like you've got that much on the back of this. It holds the vehicle well. You don't get any sort of shakes with it or wobble with it at, at speed. It's a really, really solid tower. And there's a couple of things about the Ranger Raptor that you should probably know if you're looking at these vehicles. These are not rated to the same tow capacity as Wild Tracks. The Wild Tracks are rated up to three and a half tonnes. These are rated up to two and a half tonnes to tow. And the reason is not because of the powertrain in them or anything like that, it's to do with the suspension. So this vehicle has independent Fox suspension on each of the four corners. Uh, and as a result, that's slightly soft. Makes it brilliant off-road, but makes it slightly soft to tow. So you get quite a lot of sag in the back of the vehicle. And for me, that's not a huge problem because I'm never really gonna tow much more than two tons of weight. So for me, this vehicle works fine, but if it's something that you need your vehicle to be able to tow more with, like you want something that can tow up to three, three and a half tons, 
if you're going to use this commercially, then you probably want to think about getting a wild track of the new generation Ranger instead. The problem with the Raptors as well, which kind of works in some ways, I suppose, with that reduced load capacity, is the fact that these are not that qualified vehicles for that reason. They also have a reduced load bed capacity of 650 kilos, as opposed to the ton in the back of the truck. So overall, this doesn't suit being a commercial vehicle for a number of reasons. Yes, it's down on low capacity, but it's also not a that qualified vehicle, so you can't claim you that back. So, a few reasons why you wouldn't buy us commercially, and why actually it suits me, because I'm not buying us commercially, this is bought personally, uh, for private use, lifestyle use, towing a caravan, towing a boat, those sorts of things. So here we are hooked up with the new Ranger Raptor. I'm just actually unhooking it now, I've arrived where I need to get to. Let me show you kind of how that sits in comparison to the wild track. So, Pretty neutral still, doesn't have the back too high. Even though people say this car does sit higher, which it does, when you get the load on the tow ball, it kind of sinks it a little at the back. So the caravan sits pretty flat, pretty neutral, no problems there at all. So yeah, this is how it hitches on. Slightly different to the, um, the wild trap because you've got a two inch receiver in here. And so this tow bar can just come out. It also does rattle about a bit though, which is a bit weird. You can tighten it up underneath, but the two inch receiver is very good on these trucks because it means you can put a lot of different accessories, a lot of different hitches in, put bike mounts in, for example, and loads of other stuff that's rated over three tons. So quite good to be able to have a lot of heavy gear on the back. Uh, and also this tow bar then just drops out and pulls out and you store it in the back. So it gets rid of it as well, which is quite nice. Overall, I absolutely love my new Ranger Raptor. It's been such a good car. MPG is terrible in it, but everything else about it, I absolutely love. Um, it's been such a good vehicle. And I gotta say, I've done about four or 500 miles in it now and uh, still loving it, still as good as it was when I first got it. Inside as well, they're just so much nicer than the previous generation. And so if we have a look inside here, let me show you some of those tow settings. So this is the trailer light check that I was talking about. So if we go on here, so it's doing the check now. So literally check in progress and you can see here, it starts to run my light. It does the indicators and does the rear. So if I go out now, leave the truck running, you can have a look. I can then stand behind my, car, my caravan, the indicators, on that side, number plate lights, and then it'll be indicator on right. And then I don't know what's next, I think it may be reverse. Let's see, what is it? Reverse, so everything gets hit, and it's so easy to do, you just set your vehicle up doing that, and it will just run through that whole sequence for you, which is good. A couple of other things which are cool about the Ranger, in regards to just, I guess, towing in general. So you've got this load bed on here, and this is fully, fully waterproof. And a button there, and when you press it, it unwinds, which is very, very nice. That's the matter of my Discovery 5. And then you've also got here some sockets. So you've got 12 volt and three pin as well, which is really nice to have. So yeah, I love this vehicle because it does everything so well. And it also sounds very good too, because it's got the three liter petrol engine. You've got exhaust valves on it as well. So yeah, that is the Raptor towing my caravan. Hope that video has been insightful. If you're looking at the towing differences between the old Ranger and the new one, and particularly the Ranger Raptor, there's not many videos about towing. So I hope that's been insightful to the Raptor doing some towing here in the UK. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys very soon.